I'm Michael Young. I'm an assistant professor in the Erwin S. Chanin School of Architecture. I'm Mira. I'm a fourth year architecture student at the Cooper Union. I would love to just hear more about the project, why you decided to base the project on the elevator. So the project was done by myself, uh, Mira, and an alumni, uh, Daniel Wills. There's this iconic image of the elevator core under construction, a kind of metaphor for the Cooper Union being something that is always taking chances and risks. What we were looking for was for the three different architects to do three different projects from the same origin. Daniel Wills digitally modeled the entire foundation building and then cut section cuts to begin to expose this core within a core within a core. The approach I decided to take was inspired by a collage method called rollage. Uh, I wanted to somehow capture that fact that it is more than an object, that it's actually an atmosphere, a vibration that extends throughout the Cooper Union. In the drawings that I've presented, it's, it juxtaposes the architectural detail to the architectural whole. The building's core is as important as the detail. So one of the things that design can do is hide what's underneath, and the other thing that it can do is expose what's underneath. I'm curious how you think about that role of design in the context of the Cooper Union. Part of what good design, good architecture does is not only put a mirror up to reflect the way in which we understand what is around us, but also hopefully navigates in probes a little deeper to see what are the things that we haven't yet actually realized are going on around us. You know, to see all the architecture students in one studio working on their individual projects and collaborating with each other to push each other in their own work for me has been really powerful. I'm curious um, what that experience has meant for you, how it's shaped your work. My process has changed exponentially since I've joined the Cooper Union. The lower years have influenced my work, just passing by their desks and looking at their models or what material they're using influences my process. It's the kind of thing that you hope a school always has. It's not siloed, it's not segmented, it's not put in these rooms and different buildings in different places together working on architecture.